28-18, the Knights over the Seagulls. But while well, it's only 10 points of difference, it's actually six tries to three. Newcastle, a bit of wayward goal kicking. But Dom Young, the Roosters would like what they saw at the death there. The big headline, perhaps, big mind to come out of this. Caelan Ponga, back yeah. to fullback. And is that the end of the six experiments? Well, if I was coaching, yes. I, I think he's a fullback. Uh, see, the, when he's copped the head knocks in the... Well, this year in particular, it's mainly been when he's been defending. Mm. You know, he doesn't have to do as much defence at fullback. He's such a, a valuable asset to any side. And I, and I thought yesterday, I thought he was a bit slow in the first half, but his second half I thought was outstanding for them. And he was clearly the best player on the field. Um, I, I just... He's such a great mover. Um, I think they've got to try and save him as best they can. You know, he's involved in every try they, they've scored just about. He also was involved a couple that I think Manly scored with a couple of intercepts. But but he's just a super player. And he did cop a couple of knocks early in the game yesterday. And I think all of us held our breath. Oh, yeah. You know, when he was running the ball up. But he, he got up and he said, I'm OK. And uh, he oh, was. See, one. there's one there. But well, he, I thought that was game over then for him. He got straight up. Brain, so he did get up. And it was totally accidental. I think Cooler was penalised that too. Yeah, and, um, he, got, he was given 10 minutes in the sim bin. Yeah, he was. Yeah, which fine. I thought was very, very harsh. 10 minutes in the sim bin for that. It was a total... Just a reaction thing. I, I can't believe he was sent for 10 for that one. We saw a fair few on the weekend when they weren't sent for 10, so I'm surprised at that. But, um, look, I, I, it was a very close game, as you said. It wasn't really to that Did he get charged? He got a uh, charge here, did he? got he get? a fine. Fine. For what? For that. Tackle. For what? Sh his just shoulder just made contact with the head, but... No, it didn't. I, I yeah. thought it did when I saw it on replay. I, I got to say, there's I don't think it, it did There's either. nothing in it. I, I, absolutely nothing. The fact he even got ten minutes in the semi, I thought absolutely it was ridiculous. nothing. This could sound like a really stupid question, but what is it with players that end up being habitually concussed? We've seen it with Luke Keary and then Caelan Ponga. Well, every time you get concussed, you, the more you get hit in the head, they make it, it's easier each time to be concussed. But it just feels like sheer bad luck that it's almost every game you're just sitting on the edge of your seat going, yeah. please don't hit wait, your head again, yeah, mate. You wait are, aren't you? Go wrong. And How, just, like, it's just bizarre. I think a lot of, a lot of these ones, as a big man said, was in defence. He's trying to make tackles. And look, Caelan Ponga's a guy who apparently has played fullback pretty much through all his junior grades. So he hasn't had to be in the front line making 25 tackles a game. So he's just not used to it. Probably hasn't learned to tackle properly, to be honest. So putting him back at fullback, I agree with the big man. I think he's probably the best thing for his career. We interviewed him before the game on Channel 9 here yesterday afternoon. And I asked him, I said, most people will assume that you move to fullback is to protect you because of this cushion issue. He said, no. He said, playing fullback is the best thing for the team. He said, it's going to make it easier for me. I said, what are the doctors saying about your concussion and are you worried about the repeated concussions? He said, no. He said, it never, I never think about it. Doctors are fine. He said, I'm fine. He said, I've had a couple of knocks that couldn't have been helped. He said, probably anyone would have got knocked out. He said, I'm fine to keep playing. He said, I don't think about it. It's not on my mind. Oh. So it's on everyone else's mind more yeah. than it's on his. Well, he, he, was, uh, he was overlooked for origin, wasn't he? Because well, I, I'd imagine so. I think, I think the, early, the early decision to HIA him against Newcastle in Coffs Harbour the week before, I think he went down the first couple of minutes. I can just see Billy Slater saying, what if that's the first two minutes of a, an origin game and what if he can't come back? What would do you, we do? Would you think the same thing as oh, a coach? 100%. 100%. I, I, given what his history was, recent history, it would be hard to pick him in an origin worrying for the fact that because we are so strict on the HIA protocol that it could happen in the first minute and then you're down to 16 men and you're down a key position at fullback and you've got to cover that off the bench, which weakens your interchange in other positions that do a lot Especially more. Especially if he doesn't get injured and you've got a bloke sitting on the bench the entire time and doesn't need to go Just to field, cover him and doesn't need to go him, on yeah, him. It's a big risk. Yeah. I can understand their thought process. I probably thought they would have picked him because he's performed mm. every time with our far for Queensland, but I agree with you, it would, would have been a risk. I'm probably surprised he's not on the bench because he can fill in in other positions. Mm -hmm. But I think what they want to see him is play some regular football without resorting off, going off for HIAs all the time and be able to handle himself in that environment. It's, uh, you know, and, it, and it's, some players are more susceptible to others. Other players, some players can get a really heavy knock and get a dozen of them and they don't have no effects whatsoever. Some fellas are just susceptible. As soon as their head gets rocked, they get a bit giddy and, and they go down. But they're fine, but... That's just what happens. Yeah, the scary scenes again. But uh, Pogger and his Knights, so they're only a point outside the eight, too.